go! <laughs> go Hoyo! Welcome, welcome! <laughs> How's everybody doing today? I hope everyone's doing well. Um, sorry if I'm like a little bit uh, lower energy than usual. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty low energy in my opinion, but sorry if I'm lower than uh, how I am usually. I uh, haven't been sleeping too well, but uh, just got a lot on my mind, I guess. And one of those things that's on my mind is Xenoblade. <laughs> hey, Rodent. Hi, Rock. Uh, yeah, I'm glad everyone's doing well. Hey, Tan. Yeah. Um, I've been playing a ton of Xenoblade 3 off stream. I, I thought I was going to be like, I thought I was like barely going to play it, but I've actually been playing a ton. And I finished uh, Chapter 2 off stream and I started Chapter 3 right now where learning about Tyon's backstory and what he's all about and currently we're we're being <laughs> chased down by the the uh, the the by colony uh lambda I believe yeah yeah we can watch some of the cutscenes see so like get up to speed uh uh <laughs> just, just and just because I like the I like the scenes as well um hold on There you go. <laughs> I almost like, I almost started playing without uh, any sound. I th I hope it's okay now. Hope you guys uh, can hear everything. <laughs> Thank you for the luck, Raka. But yeah, hello, hello. Hope everyone's uh, been doing well. I'm glad to hear you're doing great, uh, Rodin. And <laughs> yeah, I played through um, chapter two. Let's see. I did a ton of side quests as well. I did pretty much like every side quest I could. Uh, we ran into the Black Frog. We met Ethel. Man, Ethel's so cool. I wish like she could join the party like everyone else. I know she's busy though. Dude, I wish we knew about this guy. He just kind of dies. I mean, a lot of the consoles just kind of die. Like, like I don't know. Like, if, if that was me, like, maybe... Like, you know, Noah plays the flute, right? And then the particles fly up in the air. Like, I don't know, maybe Noah could, like, catch a glimpse of, of like, their backstory or something. I don't know. It, it just feels like a, a waste to have, like, these strong character designs and then do nothing with them. But maybe there's more to it. You know, I haven't finished this game. I've, I've only played, like, 30 hours out of a 300-hour game. So, we'll see. Chapter, chapter 2 is pretty dang short. Um, there's, there's not like too many side quests. But yeah, once once I hit chapter 3, it was like side quest city. So I, I, I've been uh, stuck on it for a while. But I I like had to like self-control and stop myself because I didn't want to play too, too much. Because <laughs> I think I think chapter 3 is, is when it starts getting a little bit more interesting. Although that one... Oh my god, okay. I, I want to see this scene again. Yeah, I want to see that, this one. This dude was so cool. Yeah, I'm just going to assume, like, there's not much to them. Uh, besides that, like, don't, don't say too much. Just because I want to, I do know, like, a lot of, like, the plot and whatnot, but I still want to go into the game, like, open-minded. Did we do it? Wait, something's wrong. Yo, I kind of wish like the cutscenes uh, remembered, like, or like the event theater remembered what what in. classes I have. <laughs> in, no instead, it's, it's the classes I have right now. Yeah, yeah, the this guy. Favorite character? I don't know. I like I like Uni. I like Senna. So he was the one controlling the troops. Yippee! No BS. But he's looking pretty hurt. Uni's freaking fun. Every every scene that Uni's in, like, like I'm always laughing. What? His wounds. They look like they're healing. <gasps> Any 
any good? I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Cause like it's um, you know they're <laughs> they're in in world like slang, no right? He's stealing from the I think it's interesting. I like it when games have like their own language that they use. Like I think Cyberpunk did that really well. Like I like hearing like Choom and stuff. It's it's not much, but it's it's the little things that that <laughs> makes me like more interested in the world. I'm afraid I shall not fall. Come now. Why don't you give it your best shot? And have at me! <laughs> Noah having like that class is like so like such a big contrast to me because <laughs> Noah's personality is so like like baby boy. <laughs> like I don't wanna like I don't wanna fight, you know. That kind of thing. It's like looking around this big sword. Oof! Wake up, Noah! They're not your friends anymore. They're his fuel. <gasps> Even so. <laughs> These soldiers will nourish me like glitter radishes in season. And we can <laughs> the glitter radish thing. More. If I need a little extra, I can pluck them whenever I want. <sighs> He's killing more of our friends, the more we hate him. I feel like they yeah, they like integrated the the world more into like the story, like 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 the in game mechanics and stuff. Like they they mentioned like glitter radishes, gl glitter radishes, and like armor meat. <laughs> what if we smashed it? You what? How should I know something like? Do you mean? Yeah, right now, well, like, no and Mio are very, like, vanilla. They're very... Fighting like this, <laughs> they, they, they feel like, uh, like bread face. toast. Huh? But it's okay. It's like the rest of the characters are are really a we lot of fun. So, you know, you, you need, like, that balance in the cast. Mia. I'm sure, like, you know, once the plot starts picking up, like, I'll be more interested in the characters. It's, it's still too early to, for me to, like, uh, make, make, like, uh, decisions and stuff. <coughs> Every time I, like, look at Neo, like, no, Neo, Noah's face, he looks like he's he has a like major PTSD, which is completely understandable, you know, considering like the world they live in. I, I just think it's really hilarious. Like, like he's just one, one, like tiptoe away from snapping. I'm not gonna let you take the fall alone. That boy has seen too much shit. <laughs> hmm. I, I didn't like Tyon too much at first, but I think like this chapter is gonna make me change my mind. Right now, like the party feels like the the Noah Tyon show. Like every every cutscene, it's like Noah and Tyon. Like okay, let's do this, let's do that kind of thing. They're like the only ones with brain cells. <laughs> Senna and Lons are just like they're like there for the road. <laughs> if I keep on firing pot shots, I'm bound to hit one of you sooner or later, preferably sooner. Oh crap! Let's go! <laughs> Ouroboros is so cool. But like when I'm playing, I feel like Ouroboros and chain attacks are so underwhelming. But then I remember like, wait a second, I'm playing on hard. 
Like, no wonder my attacks don't do anything. I'm like, man, it feels like they should be a lot stronger. I just, I just like, don't do any damage. I kind of wish, like... <clears throat> With Ouroboros, you can like pick and choose like which party members to like fuse with. Like I wish like there was more different forms. Like I get why. Like there's a pairing, right? You know, the, the, like the, they're going for that Noah's Ark uh, type, like that Noah's Ark type theme. You know, two like <laughs> one male, one one female, that kind of thing. But I do wish that you could like pick and choose and whatnot. That would be so interesting. Yeah, yeah. I do know about that, but but don't 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 bring up or don't don't talk about anything I haven't experienced yet. I, like I want to have like as fresh as possible uh, mind going into the game. I do know, like, um, in, like, in the, like, there's, there's, like, Ouroboros orders and stuff like that, so I, I do think that'll add, like, a lot more depth to chain attacks, but right now, I'm just, like, chain attacks are okay. <laughs> Right, right now, like chain attacks are really short, <laughs> so, so I'm assuming I'm assuming it gets like a lot longer and a lot worse. Like, not not worse in like in terms of content, but like worse in terms of length. Yeah, yeah. There was there was a lot of leaks at the beginning, so I know quite a bit about like what's going on with the game, unfortunately. <laughs> Not I bleach. This scene is so cool. I do love the Ordoboros designs though. Choco does such great work. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> when, I, when I first saw this scene, I was like, what the hell? They like hype, they hype that up so much. <laughs> Bloody embers. Mm. This song is really good. <laughs> what about I please? It's just a term for like You know like cute things or beautiful things like cleanse cleanse yourself after seeing something you don't want to see. Get sliced to itsy bits. If it can really take a boy's clean, clean out, then maybe. Then maybe. Try again. I was That's so hyped when, when I realized, like, yes, he's gonna. I, I didn't think like they would pull out the sword so soon. Like in the same chapter, they mentioned it. I'm like, yes, it's just like the Monado. <laughs> And then he has like the the Iron Man gauntlet. <laughs> Takahashi has been watching like way too many Marvel films. <laughs> the Xenoblade. It's funny to me how like they never use the word 
Xenoblade in any of the games. Zeno Bredo. <laughs> That, man, that shit was so cute. Like, she only lost consciousness. regardless, like, that's good. Like, I think, like, Noah and Mio are very bland right now. Despite that, I think, like, every scene where they actually, like, interact is so cute. I love Noah and Mio. <laughs> They're so cute, dude. I need more. Yeah, that was, that was my highlight of chapter two. And I think Ethel is probably like my favorite hero right now. Um, I think I think <laughs> choosing Riku and Manana would be cheating. I, I like I like Riku and Manana. But yeah, I, I did get Eno as well. <laughs> Eno is really cool. I haven't used her too much though, because you have to gather like the either, uh, whatever, the either cylinders and whatnot, which I have been and boy is that a lot, but at least they're fun to do. I'd I'd rather do this than Tiger Tiger one hundred percent. So <laughs> maybe we see our cutscene. Yeah, we can see our cutscene. Yeah, I did buy the DLC, of course, of course. Uh, we'll watch the, the ending cutscene. <laughs> your, your Xenoblade. It did not chronicle enough. <laughs> How could I forget that scene? That was, <laughs> that was a uh, very, uh, momentous oh, scene in, in the first game. I'm so sorry, impressive. I forgot that one. No, hold your ponyos. That's I know why we compared the chairs, really. I, I, did, I didn't like uh, the watch the chairs at the time, so maybe that's why I thought she was like super cool. Your point has more eyes. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. I think, like, that's the thing about this game. I don't know how I feel about... Well, like, every, every Xenoblade cast is different, right? But this what? game's cast Wait, is like strictly, you, mean like you know, like the ones we fight with? young adults, you right? This is like in the other games, you had like a mix of you're saying you're of young and old. But uh, in this game, it's it's it? so primarily you know these young blade. adults trying to figure out their mm. way in this That's barren fishy. world, fishy. rebelling against the system mm. that they're put in. Um, so it has a completely different vibe. It feels like, uh, at times, like, I'm watching Breakfast Club, or, uh... <laughs> I try not to say the... I try not to say these things, but it does feel like I'm playing Persona 5 at some point. <laughs> you know, just a, like a group of kids. I try not to compare things to Persona. I, I really do. But it feels that way to me at this moment. Of course. Yeah, he knows really cute. I still don't really understand it. This artificial blade business. I love how they I love how they call her like a and you're an anthropomorphic blade. Cuz they they have no idea. They have no idea. You fought for that. And you did it all by yourself. That takes real courage. See the Eno you know, dance? Yeah, I have. Before I played the game, I, I saw it. <laughs> People would always post it online. It's, it's really cute. What you said, Eno. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it runs in the family. The, uh, the artificial blade family. Hmm? Indeedy doodle. I can't wait What's to, like, this? max out her either thing. <laughs> Cause I want to see how strong she can get. Oh wow! Nice 
This outfit is so cool. He looks like anyone putting it on looks like a common rider. <laughs> Eno's voice is a little bit too high for me at some points, but she is really cute. One of my favorite classes too. I just like, I just like the the uh, the double sword animation. Like that's why I really like Ethel's as well. <laughs> you hate it? I was hoping that it changes their entire outfit, but then I realized, oh, it's it's just the jacket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me let me see lawns and booty shorts. <laughs> That would be so fun, but it's okay. It's it's better than not changing at all, I guess. I guess. <laughs> I I still wish like we could go back to like Xenoblade One or, or or Xenoblade Cross style where like you can like mix and match parts. I thought that was so fun, but it's okay. We'll watch a couple of cutscenes in chapter 3 and then we'll start. Because I really like these scenes. I think they're really good. I, I actually like... I already saw these scenes because like, I watched someone else play it like way back when. When uh, the game first came out. But I don't know much else about the game. I, I just happened to see like these scenes in particular. Yeah. Th there's a lot of really cool things that Xenoblade 3 does though. I think like a lot of people's issues with it is because they like expected you know, too much from it, which is, you know, normal, like, being a fan. Like, me, I didn't have to wait to play this game, like, like, uh, most Xenoblade fans did. So I don't have, like, these, uh, insane expectations. And, like, the thing that, uh, Monolith Soft tries to do is, like, you know, and I think most game developers are trying to do nowadays, they want each game to be able to stand on their own. So like, anyone who like, starts from a certain entry or whatever, doesn't get like, too lost. And it's like, if you played the other games, then, you know, it's cool. You get to uh, understand more and you get more out of it. But ultimately, it's not, you know, necessary to uh, completely understand like, uh, what they want to show in the game So if you're an older fan that really sucks <laughs> It really sucks cuz cuz you know you, you come in you you expect like answers to your questions and, and and stuff like that But you're really not gonna be getting any of it Now I, I don't I don't mind like you know this stuff in, in paid content. That's just like the 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 norm nowadays for video games. It's unfortunate, but that's what you have to live with. It's honestly su like surprising how like you know <clears throat> with so much inflation, uh, the price of video games hasn't changed all that much. Like if it's a if it's a good game, I I don't mind, you know, paying more for it. Oh. And this is coming from someone who <laughs> doesn't have a job, <laughs> who's completely broke all the time. Oh, look at Uni, her hands. It smells good. Yeah, okay. there's a lot more gamers it's now, so, like, uh, devs make a lot more money. I feel like devs, like, put wow, so much effort. Sounds like a hobby. 
<laughs> and a practical one. Is there, is there a way to pause in this game? Can I pause? <laughs> Sounds like a hobby. I, I didn't notice that the first time I played, or the uh, first time I saw the cutscene, but like the second time I watched it, I was like, oh, she's, she's saying that because uh, the first time they like talk to each other, the first time they introduced everyone to each other, Tyon was like, oh, me? I, I, I don't have any hobbies. <laughs> So <laughs> she's she's like calling him out for it. That's that's so cute. I love these two. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, practical. Like she she paid no, attention no. to him. Oh. <laughs> she. <laughs> I did. And he and he paid attention to I her too. too. Like that's so cute. Huh? I put down my weapon. Look around at my companions and feel relief. Thinking, finally, another day down. Then I think of tomorrow and the tremors are back. No. Will I see the same faces when I wake? Will I even be around to see them? It's it's really early on, but I think I think they might be my favorite ship in the team as well. But when you're in a scrap. Can you really speak for them though? For someone nearing the end. Huh? Because I couldn't tell you. All we can possibly do is wonder <laughs> what it's like. What can one feel? Contentment, perhaps? Or sheer horror? I'd really hope it's not fear. Me too. That's just it. So cute. Mio is just sleeping. Shouldn't we just like, they're out there <clears throat> fighting for their lives every day. Nah, it's just nice to have like a short moment where they can us. relax and stuff and not worry mistaken. about dying. This region is under the control of Lambda. Yeah. That is the colony I originally belonged to. The, the lack of heart to heart is, is really hurting me right now. Then the Levinus yesterday. Yeah. But the it amount of cutscenes in this game Definitely. is like ridiculous. So. Isn't that isn't that bad for us? We'll we'll see how I feel by the end mm. of it. Like this this game has like All right. so like if I just go by YouTube, this I game has six in. hours more cutscenes than Xenoblade 2. <laughs> Alright then. Any suggestions? Oh. Um Come on. Uh, let's see. There should be some nearby tunnels we could use. Sounds good to me. We might still get. I don't know. Looking back at but chapter four, like I couldn't even remember what chapter four was about. But then I looked back and I'm like, <laughs> man, this chapter oh. sucked. <laughs> I, I really did not enjoy enjoy like going to the the factory and like. Uh, One moment. Fighting against the these the, tunnels have been the, disused for a long time. There's a the other robot. A I forgot her name already. The the the, 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 it, the uh, like Poppy's sister. Also be in short supply. I nah, like nah, nah. I I actually You're didn't enjoy out. like the the Unless scenes with Bono. I couldn't take him seriously. You better not want us to just camp out here forever. No, obviously. Gormat part. Which part right, was that? Let's back it up. Any route we can take will have. I just remember like the parts in Morai Dane. At this point, I'll settle for any choice. It was also like the first easier. time I had to like Enough use field skills. So I was like, oh Just my god. <laughs> Things will work out somehow. Yeah. Mimi, what's up with you? I mean you say that, but the game Sounds wants like you to take him seriously. Because he kills right? Hugo. Roger that, Mom. Not Hugo, oh, Niall, sorry. Already. He kills Niall right. at go. one point. We'll check out those tunnels. Hey, so they do want you to take him me. seriously. And of course, there's the implied uh, death of Toro's grandfather, right? In Chowder Fork. Okay, okay. All right.
the rock crystal thing? Oh yeah. What I'm yeah, what the hell was that? That was so what? dumb. Like having that to chase the kids down. The confidence <laughs> that, that's that's like one of my Rather biggest problems with with chapter four. And then do nothing anyway. Like you I can't like just go from better. like that's what so happened in chapter three to oh, to that. <laughs> anyway, I'm not confident. I just have to keep moving. This scene is so good. That's all. I don't get you. I mean, yourself. Why do you always take a back seat? Huh? You scared? Mm -hmm. It's like these two, these two are always like bickering no with each he other. to say, don't blame yourself. He knows why I can't stay still and he gets it. All right. Tells me it's not healthy. Yeah. But it's easier said. Anyhow, not like I can just wish him back. I mean, what else can I do? That's how it goes. Same deal with you, right? Yeah, the Rosa song is really cool. Uh, I just don't like the yeah, the the events that, that are around her. <laughs> I, I really like Rosa. Well, that's the design the opposite and stuff. of what you said before. I guess I'm taking it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you when you come back, Rocka. They might not have like heart to hearts, but at least they have these like cute little moments where like the characters are like bonding and stuff. The damn, the damn like no pawn arc sage. Fuck this guy. <laughs> right, we'll, we'll watch one more cutscene because this this is like where I left off. Yeah, I know his voice by Adam Howden. I saw um, uh, Harry McIntyre comment on it. <laughs> I think being able to voice a Nopon would be really fun. What the smoke screen? <laughs> yeah, yeah. His shock is amazing. It's weird. This, not just normal smoke. I think you just like haze, which is, you know, fine. They're hiding in the smoke. It, it's, it's funny to me saying like them uh, pull out their original um, weapons for cutscenes. More incoming. Oh man. Huh? My legs. I do love how like their clothes have the uh, the glow in the dark parts. It makes it makes scenes like this really cool. Don't breathe it in. Who the fuck are they? Soldiers from Agnes, duh! I I know this maneuver. What is it? One of Colony 13's little specialties. Seen this before. Come on, Tora, not Wait, Adam. Look, okay. These mothers are Agni. I don't get it. Why this specific tactic? Could it be? Yeah, Tora's Tora's VA. Tora plays Tora well, I think. He has these moments this that like make the up. story. There's no way to tell where they're gonna come from next. You know, there's there's a lot of really serious and and hard moments in Xenoblade Two. So, Water. like you want. Yeah. A party member that liven things up, in these caves. and Tora does a good job at that. Escape. You say make a dash for it. Uh... Tyon, decide. Look, I trust you. I really love this scene, actually. You do, because at the beginning, you know, since they didn't really know each other. Boy. Like Tyon would make decisions and and they'd like you know they they bash their heads at each other and they question him. 
Let's move. But here, you know, Lon's just like, I trust you. And yeah, that's where I left off. <laughs> I've been, I, I had to like hold myself back from playing because <laughs> I wanted to play more on stream. All right, let's go. <sighs> yeah, everything's a reference. This whole game is a big reference to to every every Zeno game. But they're not like super explicit about it. But yeah, right here. So these are my classes right now. I I'm just like mixing and matching, trying to like level every single class up. The only rules that I really stick to is like, I have to have two healers and I have to have at least one tank. Otherwise, I just, I don't really care too much about uh, team composition. I'm just trying to have fun. And these are the heroes I have. I did see Alex, but that quest is like, like all the enemies are level 40. So I, I cannot, I'm not doing that <laughs> right now. Yeah, Rocky, I, I told you I did, I, I did play it. It was really cool. I like the fact that it had the monolith soft uh, mascot at the very end. <clears throat> it was cool seeing uh, Ricky and Tatsu. I don't know too much about Tatsu because I haven't played Cross, but it was cool seeing them. Yeah, out of all of these so far, Ethel is my favorite. I find it funny how like, you know, Valdi is supposed to be like a super genius, right? But his TP is so low. <laughs> like, come on. It, he, it's not like too useful either because like, uh, it's like plus 50 against machines like <laughs> it, it's very specific but then again you know it's better uh, to have like skills that are more specific than more general like you don't want them to be too strong right I'm gonna go oh you have a great rest of stream okay okay take care take care rodent <laughs> Catch you later.